Hey, so it's Tuesday. We got uh, two months till the end of the year. How do you find the, the motivation? How do you find the drive? <clears throat> and I mean, some people struggle with that. Some people struggle with uh, trying to find the motivation uh, to get the drive back. And one thing that I do to keep the motivation going, and I struggled for a long time trying to find motivation and trying to find the drive, uh, and felt like I was like in a like a like just in a in a rut or a circle, and it's not like uh, static. Like static is like when you're just like still. Uh, and so I had to develop like a, a routine. I had to develop something that was going to get kind of like a kind of like a car engine, right? Like if it's cold outside, uh, you have to let that car engine warm up before you go out and drive it. You know, I remember um, I remember uh, when I was younger, I used to have this uh, 79 Monte Carlo and uh, every morning I would have to let it warm up. Uh, for the transmission to start to engage and uh, and that was pretty interesting right <laughs> your body's the same way man and so <clears throat> th things didn't start to really move forward until I developed this and it all started with me like really writing down uh, what I needed to accomplish and and constantly reminding myself I remember uh, every night <laughs> I would just write down like what I need to do, what um, what was gonna happen, uh, how, I, uh, not, not really how, but like just what thoughts of ways that I would think of, of accomplishing goals, right? So it wasn't set in stone. I know a lot of times whenever you set out to do something, you're like, well, how am I gonna do this? And you start to write out. And if it doesn't go that way, you get discouraged, right? Well, a lot of times uh, you'll discover you'll discover how to overcome that obstacle in the moment. And, and that's the power of being present. Like, um, you know, it's, it's a powerful thing, but, you know, write down what you would like to accomplish, write down what, what needs to be done by the end of the year. Like whether it's lose five pounds, whether it's lose 10 pounds, whether it's uh, pay off some debt, whether it's like stacking up some cash, whether it's uh, getting new leads, whether it's hiring somebody like, Whatever, whatever the thing is, like, like whatever the thing is, like, make sure that that you just write it down and remind yourself, and just pursue it. Just pursue it every day. Just, just look out and say, you know what? This is what I'm pursuing. This is this is where I'm going. So that's one way to kind of get your 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 mind going. But if you don't have nothing driving that, you can get discouraged. And so one thing that I do is like in the morning, I man, I'll get up. And uh, I'll hit the gym, I'll do cardio, and that helped. The, even some kind of movement, like if you can just get up and just do some movement, it's gonna help your it's gonna help your blood to start flowing. It's gonna get your energy going up, and that's what we want. Because if you, I mean, I I do it all the time, man. Like I, I'm like in the in, in the morning I get up and I'm like, man, do I want to get up? I'm like, I'm, my bed feels comfortable, but I force myself to get up and get my blood flowing. And once my blood gets flowing. I'll, I'll listen to uh, a sermon. I'll listen to a speech. I'll listen to something that that that's motivating, and that that even fuels it more. Like it fuels it more because it gets you thinking on you know what needs to be accomplished. What are we fighting for? And it just really starts. To, it really makes you start to dissect you know the different areas, right? So if you're so usually what I do is I'll do like a, I'll walk on a treadmill or I'll jog or I'll walk outside. But if you're if you're doing like like heavy weights, it's not, it's, it doesn't really work the same. Like, because you're focusing on, on lifting and you're heavy and and you can't really listen at the same time as clearly as you were if like you're just walking or if you're on an elliptical trainer or, or something like a bike or something. You wanna get on something where like it's, you're walking uh, on a bike or elliptical trainer uh, where you can actually listen and watch a video or you can focus and really di dis dissect your thoughts and really dissect, okay, this is my obstacle. How am I gonna overcome this? What are some, and, and ideas will come to you, right? So 
you know, motivation is within. Like you, you can only, some people say, man, I, I don't have no motivation. Well, that could be um, a lack of movement or a lack of, uh, or a, an environment you have, right? So if your environment is so, if you're so comfortable in your environment, you're, gonna, you're not gonna be motivated because you're not having to fight for anything. You're not having to, to change anything. You're not having to build anything. You've already built, you know, your, 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 your comfortable spot, you know, and so if you feel you feel secure so you got sometimes you got to break that sometimes you got to change you know your your office change your, your bedroom set change your living room change your house um, you know maybe don't do sugar for a couple of weeks so really make your body like say hey there's something something's different here i need to, i need to go back in survival mode so even even that like if you say i'm not going to do sugar i'm not going to do cokes i'm not going to do uh you know I, i'm not going to eat out uh, i'm really going to just push myself that's going to make your body go into a, like a like a survival mode your mind into survival mode and then you're going to be more motivated because you're going to you're going to be like on the hunt whenever you can whenever you can uh <clears throat> put your, your your mindset in that that kind of thinking you're going to be more motivated and think about it like this like like animals like an animals hunt animals hunt when they're hungry think about that like animals hunt when they're hungry and when after they ate they they get they get lazy they get lazy and they're just lounging they're, they're watching deer and all this antelope pass by because they're already full they're already full but i guarantee you if they haven't ate in a couple of days they're going to be the vicious you know hunters they're going to go after that so it's we're the same way man you gotta you gotta remember look at your environment Look at your routine. Uh, look at your health, man. If you're if you're if you're if you're you know struggling from uh, a little bit of being overweight, I know I was struggling for a while, and it was really affecting my energy level because I, I wasn't able to perform for a long period of time at work. Like I was I wasn't able to to peak out. Like I would you know maybe be good till like about two o'clock three, and then I'll start to decline. As I changed my diet and changed my, my vitamins and really got focused on my health, drinking more water, staying hydrated, I was able to go to like nine o'clock, like just like just keep going and going. And, and to this day, I can, I can work. I love working late. I, I can work all night because, because I get into it. I get into the work. I get into the hunt. So, hey guys, subscribe to the channel so you can get these notifications. We're going to start to do our, our four week webinar. Uh, coming up, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put an email out today uh, for everybody that wants to join in on that. But on the webinar, we go over the 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 millionaire mindset booklet, and uh, I, I, what I do is I do it on Zoom. I share my screen, and I go through each page. Uh, if you have the booklet already, a big shout out to you because I'm pretty sure you got all the QR codes, you got all that the free stuff that, that came with it in the bags, the shirts, you got all that stuff. Uh, but if you're interested in that, I'll put the link below uh, to sign up. And uh, and please subscribe, man. Please subscribe. Give it a like. Share it with someone that's struggling with some mindset. I know that I talk to my guys at work about this all the time. I'm always trying to give them gold nuggets. I'm always trying to inspire them. I'm always trying to give them an edge so they can peek out in life. And uh, I'll share some of those things with y'all as well. Later, guys.